Hello, today we want to talk about the SDNF interface of solid steel parametric for SOLIDWORKS. SDNF means steel detailing neutral format, so basically it is an exchange format for steel designs. Usually there are two different ways the designers work. So the structural engineer does the structural analysis in an external solution or maybe in an external office in another company. And now the SOLIDWORKS designer can pick up the complete design of the structural analysis and import this into SOLIDWORKS. And let's see how that works. Okay, to import a structure into SOLIDWORKS, just select the SDNF import functions, select the SDNF file and click apply. Then, okay, it takes a little time. But keep in mind what the software is doing there. Creating a sketch behind all the single members of the structure and creates all the profiles. And after waiting a few seconds, the structure is imported and we can move on with all the different functions of solid steel, trim the functions, adding steel connections and many more. That was so easy. Just a few clicks to import a complete steel structure into SOLIDWORKS. The second possibility we talked about at the beginning is that the designer does his work with solid steel parametric and SOLIDWORKS first. Then export the design by using the SDNF interface of solid steel parametric into an external solution for structural steel design. Now the structural engineer can do his work and re-import the complete design into SOLIDWORKS again. And if there were some changes because of the structural analysis, that's absolutely no problem because of our new to-do list in the Solid Steel Task Manager. Let's see how that works. After we finished the design, we want to send our design to the structural analysis software. To do that, just using the export functions of the SDNF interface from Solid Steel Parametric, we save the SDNF file. We can open it to take a look at it. It's a clear text format of the SDNF file. And here is the result. All the different members of the structure are stored inside of this file. After finishing the structural analysis we can re-import the design. It's similar to the previous, just import. And now we can open the Solid Steel Task Manager and we see that there are four beams um, which need to be changed and we can yeah, take a look at all the different details. In this example the changes are all the same and we can use the usual solid steel functions to do all the changes. Just select the beam, select the new size and click apply and the structure has changed. So, using the SDNF interface of Solid Steel Parametric for SOLIDWORKS saves a lot of time and offers the possibility for a lossless data exchange with a structural design program and a structural analysis program. And that's amazing. Thank you for watching this video and see you again.